bouquets while they're there while we're like while people are arriving and these would make just the cutest little jars I thought uh, so we're gonna just kind of play with a couple and we're gonna etch on them so let's take this off again I bought these that's just a warning label I bought these a few years ago um, oh, all my wipes are done darn it Darn it, darn it, darn it. Let me see. I don't think there's any at my sink either. Okay, what we're gonna do is I just wanna wipe them down real quick. So I'm just gonna spray a paper towel. They just seem a little dusty, so we're just gonna wipe them down. Now, I will warn you that some things and you know, these probably came from Target. So the more I think about it, this may not work. Some Target items, I don't know, they put like a weird film on them and they're really hard to etch. So hopefully that's not the case with these, but we'll see what we can do. I kind of have a bad feeling already. I should have thought about this. So this might be a fail, guys, but it's okay. I'm. I'm gonna be the guinea pig. So we have these two jars. I have Stay Wild. This is such a cute little transfer. It has a little line of little, um, almost like line drawn uh, flowers, almost like those uh, thin line tattoos that you see people. They're just like one little line. They're very petite and cute. And then I thought we would use this month's um, club transfer as well. We're gonna use like these corner flowers so uh, we're gonna that's what I'm using honestly you can use anything I contemplated using our daisies this is from the grow your own way transfer I contemplated with the happy spring um, this flower I think would fit perfectly what other ones I have a couple up here uh, I think 
that's maybe it. What's this one? Oh, maybe from the Bold Poppy. Maybe any one of those would be good too. But I also have our gilding wax. And this we're going to use as um, kind of like a rub and buff if you've ever played with that before. Once you etch something or engrave it, you can use a rough and buff or buff and rough and buff. Yeah, it's rough and buff. Or the gilding wax. And it kind of adds, an, uh, just kind of brings that etch out better so it's easier to see. I'm so bummed I have no more thingies. Okay, so let's just start. All right, so I have shaken this up, but I will shake it up some more. You want to shake it up really, really well. Okay, I'm going to open that. Now, if you read directions, it'll say to wear gloves and glasses and um, not to get it on your skin and not to get it in your eyes. But I've worked with this stuff for a long, long time. So I am going to take my chances. Don't do as I do. Okay, read directions. Protect yourself. And let's see. There's my marker. This is called Stay Wild. Okay. So first we're going to do this one. So you do not want to fuzz your transfers when you're working with glass. And I'm also going to see if I could take this off here. This is just a little, this holds the jar. So if you pinch that ring, it should loosen up enough that I can get this off. Here, let me pinch it from the other side. Should be able to. I just don't want it flopping around while I'm trying to do this. Of course, it's going to be difficult. Push. All right, it's just going to be difficult. All right, so we're going to do all the little flowers. So let's go ahead and take this off. And because this kind of turns, that doesn't stay, stay you know, anywhere in particular, I am going to find the seams. We're just going to start kind of in the middle here. Place it. And then you want to make sure it's straight, like when you're going around, right? You don't want it on an angle. So we're going to try to do that. Try to find my seams again so I can keep it somewhat centered. And I want to place it not at an angle. This will probably be like the more, most painstakingly part of it. Just keeps wobbling on me here. Okay, I think, I think we're good. So then I'm gonna bring it this way. You wouldn't think doing a round object, a cylinder, would be that difficult, right? It's flat, it's not like it has any crazy, you know, it's not, uh, what's the word, concave or anything. All right, so we wanna make sure that we have this very flat against our glass. You have to reposition it, do that, lift it, reposition it. You really don't want any air bubbles here. Here's where the seam is, so I'm really going to just go over that with my nail. Okay. 
you just don't want that etching cream to get under the transfer because then you're gonna have just big little splats of etched parts and we don't want that. So wherever you see it not completely flat, you wanna really make sure that is good and flat. Okay, I think we're okay. I don't know if you can see that. All right. I'm going to take a foam brush and dip that in. And then I think directions say you leave it on like 5, 10, 15. I don't even know. I don't read directions. <laughs> like I said, I've been doing this for a while. I've used Armor Etch for many, many years. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and just... Cover the, wherever the design is. If you don't want that stay wild, you know, if you're not working on that big of a piece. Oh, this would be really pretty on like a big vase, real tall vase. But I just want those flowers. So honestly, the second that etching cream hits that glass, right? It's going through the transfer. It's hitting that glass. It's already etching, okay? I'll put my hand in this way. Grab more. You know, they say to have a nice um, level layer here. Again, pretty much once it hits that glass, it's etching it. And you'll notice there's also like little pieces of glass in the etching cream. So be careful, don't touch it with your hands. Or maybe it's just crystallized. I wanna say they put little pieces of glass in there. I don't know. They put little pieces of something in there. Okay. All right, so I just kind of Add a layer, we're just gonna kind of move it around a little bit. So it's etching the glass as it's sitting there. We're just kind of moving around. Again, make sure you stay on that transfer. Because the second you go off, it will etch wherever it hits. So you could see little pieces, little chunkage. And that's just throughout the jar. All right, so we're just going to let this sit a minute. You guys, they added hundreds, I, close to hundreds, hundred of... Um, transfers and surfaces to our specials category up to 70% off. You guys, these are like retired a long time ago transfers. So go take a peek at the category uh, specials because there is a ton of stuff. Plus, don't forget, we are... I'm not sure, I'm, I said in the beginning, I wasn't sure this was going to etch, so I hope, I hope, I hope. Just because these came from Target, and some of their glass items have a weird, just a weird layer on them. Okay, I'm going to try to get some of this off. So I'm going to scrape this layer off. You can put it back. It's kind of like our paste. Scrape off the excess. Okay. Careful to stay on your transfer. Do not go off with that. But it is reusable, so get off what you can. Um, it does not harm our transfers. Of course, we will get this washed off. 
think I got a good amount of it, and then we're gonna take it off. Usually I'll take it to the sink to um, wash it off. I'll just wash it in a minute here. Can you see? The paste is still sitting on there. So I'm gonna go take it to my sink super duper quick. Actually, I could probably do it here. Let's just put that there. Let's get a paper towel. So like I said, I usually take it to my sink and rinse it off. So that's what I would want you to do. Take it right to your sink with the transfer on it and rinse it all off. We're gonna see if this worked. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know why certain things it doesn't etch. It's the weirdest thing. Hmm. I don't know why that happens. That makes me so mad because there's so many cute things I wanna do. All right, let's get it dry. I can go get something glass real quick. We'll try it again on something else. Nope, didn't even budge. So in this instance, I would tell you to use our ink and to ink your designs on something like this and then put it in your oven, Third, like put it in a cold oven, set it to 350, cook it for 30 minutes, turn it off, let it cool down completely before you take it out of the um, oven and then it would be permanent. Gosh darn it, let me go get something glass real quick to show you this etching because it is a really cool effect. Okay, let's try a glass bottle. Okay, oh, I got wipes. I forgot I had some underneath me. Okay, first I am going to wash off my transfer. Let's get that nice and clean. You guys, if you always, any or anytime you have like a leftover um, wine bottle or a liquor bottle. Bourbon bottles are pretty cool. Then save those. Take the labels off and save them because they make the coolest things. Okay, so I just washed that off the top part. We're going to flip it. I also have a board eraser. So let's get it on the back side. Nice and clean. And then if this doesn't work, I got nothing. It should. I've I've etched shot glasses, beer mugs. I just the target stuff just does not work for me. It is nuts. Actually, it doesn't even take the ink, I don't think. It's so weird. Okay, let me go ahead and get this dry. Now this is nice and clean. And then we're going to, we might even be able to get the words on here. Might be tall enough that we could do that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Try to get this on. Oh yeah. This could work. This could work. Guys, we may be able to do the words too. Okay. All right, so we're starting to get to that top where it's kind of curved. So just kind of work your transfer you can kind of manipulate it a little bit. 
kind of, you can convince it to kind of lay a certain way. And I'm convinced it to lay down down here. Okay, not wanting to really go down there, so we're gonna just not worry about that. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and paint it on. I really want to try our gilding wax too. I haven't tried that and it looks gorgeous on um, frames that have like an ornate edge to them. Like I think I need to find a really cool ornate frame. Our Aiden's have a very ornate pattern to it, but I don't want to do that to mine. All right, so we're just getting this on here. Again, don't go off that transfer if you can help it. Try to keep that edge here. I don't care how heavy I put it on because I know I'm gonna take off the excess. So I usually will put it on pretty heavy. Okay, make sure I got everything. Okay, I'm just kind of moving around, making sure it's all coated. I'm gonna start taking off my excess and putting it back in my jar. All right, I'll just scrape it in there, just like you would your excess paint paste. Again, be very mindful of the edges. Lots of excess here. This will be so cute. Put little, just like a couple, two, three stems in here. You can even put some food coloring in the water. That'd be pretty. All right. <clears throat> so at this point, this is when I would go to my sink and rinse it off, which I might do. So give me one minute, guys. Let's do this the right way, right? I'm going to take it to my sink and rinse it. all rinsed. Let's get a paper towel. I'm just going to kind of dry it a little bit. 
And you'll remove your transfer. I see it. Woohoo! Thank goodness. Okay. Etching glass is fun. It's very hard to photograph. So hopefully it gets darker as it dries. How cute is that? Uh, let's see, let's put something colored behind it. Let's see if that helps. Can you guys see that? Barely, right? Okay, now we're gonna put that gilding wax on. And I think I'm gonna do gold. I feel like gold will show up better. Now, I've never used this yet, so I'm excited to use it. Okay. It's like um kind of like a paste, I guess. Wax. All right, so let's take our paper towel here and just dig in there. We're going to rub it all over the words. Stay wild. And then over our flowers. It has an interesting scent to it. Then we need to buff it off. Let me get a clean paper towel. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh, those flowers are so cute. My gosh, you guys, let me get this. You still can't see it. There's so much light, but oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty. Do you see it? Oh, it's so pretty. What I'll do is I'll fill it up with um, colored water. We'll put some food coloring in there and then we'll take pictures. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh, I like that. I think we need to do more of that. Holy moly. That's adorable. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad I could be your guinea pig for the night to test and try things out. Remember, don't buy anything from Target. If you wanna etch it, it won't work. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. They have some kind of weird film on it or something. It just doesn't take it. It just won't take it. Um, so don't just get regular glass stuff. Probably like if you went to Ikea or um, anywhere where they have cheap, where you can buy like blanks in bulk, that would be a good item to etch, but I like that. I like that a lot. That's so pretty. Cute. Or even just going around with just the flowers, if I kept going, like put it down again and did it, just a couple more, would be so pretty. That's really pretty. I know I keep saying it's pretty. It's so pretty. I wish you guys could see it. I wish the stupid... Oh, glass is so hard. Glass is just so hard. Okay. Thank you guys for showing up tonight. I appreciate you. Happy Palm Sunday. It's only one week away from Easter. Go check the specials category. I'm telling you, there are hundreds of goodies up to 70% off. 
if you are a Perks member, then you get another 30% off of the markdown prices. So you're getting things for almost pennies, you guys. Incredible. If you need any information on being a Perks member, go ahead and come at Perk. If you would like to take part in the club couture subscription, go ahead and comment club. Otherwise, just reach out if you have any questions. I'm 